Um, I'm so sorry and it, um, to hear about, and I'm sure the world knows at this point, but the passing of uh, Lisa Marie Presley. A very sad commentary um, because knowing that she was one of these people that lived inside of a fishbowl through no um, through no fault of her own, through no desire of her own, I always feel for uh, kids in those situations because what happens to you in childhood really shapes your adulthood. And I wish more people understood that fact. Because whatever you feel wrong with a person, and I won't say wrong, I'll just say challenging or disturbing or whatever, just look at how they grew up. And there's no excuse. I don't want to hear it. I don't, there's, there's no other explanation. So Lisa has grown her life in the fishbowl. Has lived her life, I'm sorry, in the fishbowl. And um, that was the linchpin between her and Michael. Uh, a lot of people was like, how and why would he marry her? Well, I understood. And Michael being a Virgo and all. I mean, I could perfectly understand why he would marry somebody like Lisa. Who basically they've known each other, you know. For a long time. Um, but it's sad because on the night before, I guess, at the Golden Globe Awards, people were saying how she looked sick. And um, Bush, the interviewer, for instance, said that he knew something was wrong with her. And in fact, he wanted her to come up one little step. And it took two people to just get her. You know, it was laboring for her. And he said that she was just seemed a little off. And he made mention of it. And so that was the last uh, public appearance. What's amazing to me is when Lisa was a, growing up, she looked just like her dad. And when you look at the last couple years of pictures of her, she looks just like her mom. It's uncanny. Uh, because she used to look so much like Elvis. And the only child of Elvis. In fact, a lot of people say she was the reason why Elvis um, didn't want to make love to his wife anymore. Because he had all those sick fetishes as well. But there are also this, uh, this uh, I guess, dissecting the fact that his uh, Elvis's Mother, which would be her grandmother, died at 46 with a heart ailment. Then you had um, Elvis, who died at 46, I believe. Heart, uh, no, 42. Heart problems, cardiac arrest, of course, you know, with help of drugs. And then Lisa had her own challenges. But they have a lot of cousins and so immediate, that's her mother, her grandmother, her father, and her. Very young. 54 is not old. Um, uh, it's just it's unfortunate. Cause she has children as well. And so uh, my heart goes out to the family. That family has had a lot of challenges. And um, may God grant some peace for y'all. In this time of bereavement. Because I know it's difficult. And it's still so new. So they said she suffered a full cardiac arrest. At her home earlier. And Danny. Which was her first husband I believe. Tried to bring her back to life. Um, he gave her CPR. And those other things. And then they took her to the hospital. But. You know. Lisa's had a strain of, uh, of, of of famous and not so famous partners, Nicolas Cage, you know, um, Keoff, Keoff, was his name, Keoff, 
That was a Danny Keoff, a rock and roll guitarist. Um, <laughs> Johnny Ozaga. You Nicholas Cage. I hope I think I said him already. Then you got Michael Jackson. Actually, he was her second husband. It's just a legacy that, um, you know, from Elvis, because he only had that one child. And now his grandchildren go on with the legacy of their grandfather, Elvis Presley. So rest in peace. I know you were tired. And I know that there's a, there was a lot of strain on you being Elvis's daughter. But I always thought that you had a beautiful soul. That was always my opinion about you. So with that being said, um, my condolences again to Priscilla and the rest of the family. May she rest in peace.